we can create firewall rules a few different ways in GCP. If we're going to create them in a production environment, we should be using infrastructure as code like Terraform. If we want to create a firewall rule uh, quickly and easily in our development, we will typically use gcloud interface, and that's what we're going to use for this demonstration. As an example, we're going to use this Bastion host virtual machine and the utility server virtual machine. We want to create a rule that allows us to SSH from the Bastion host to the utility server. Let's try to log in right now with these, and we'll go back over here. And from the Bastion host, if we try to SSH over to the utility server right now, the command prompt just hangs. There's no connectivity. Eventually, this is going to time out. So we'll come back to this later after we create the firewall rule. Let's go up here to activate Cloud Shell. Or you can use gcloud if you have it installed on your system. That's fine as well. To get help with creating a firewall rule, we use gcloud compute. And then we do firewall rules. And at this point, you can do dash dash help. And the help is context sensitive. So if you just run it on the general uh, firewall rules, you get all the different things you can do to firewall rules, list them, create them, update them, and so on. But if you were to do firewall rules create dash dash help, it'll give you help on creating the firewall rule and give you the actual options. So the context and stuff help is very helpful. Also note that tab complete works. So if I do gcloud compute firewall rules CR and then hit tab, it'll fill out the word create. If I uh, double tab at any point, it'll tell me all the options. So if I double tab here, it'll say you can create, delete, describe, list, or update. And of course, to list the existing firewall rules, we can do gcloud compute firewall rules list. So with all of those in our back pocket, let's also look up what network we have available to us because that's one of the fields we're going to have to fill out. So we're going to do a gcloud compute networks list. And we'll see that we have this Matilda VPC available to us. And also, let's quickly cover the idea of tags. When creating firewall rules in the cloud, you don't want to create firewall rules using IP addresses where you can avoid that at all if at all possible. IPs come and go. You can spin up uh, servers and take them down, spin up Kubernetes pods, take them down. The cloud is very fluid, and that's one of its greatest attributes, and you do not want to tie yourself to IP addresses. So use tags or service accounts in your firewall rules. Let's take a look at the tags on the Bastion host and the utility server. So we can do that a couple of different ways. Of course, we can always use the GUI. Don't recommend it. but it is uh, an option. So there's your network tags, Bastion host and IaaS host. Another way to do it is to use gcloud. So if we do gcloud compute and we say instances and list, then we can format that as JSON and then parse out the fields that we want. So if we take a look at what this looks like, and we can use JQ to pretty it up a little bit. So in this case, we'll just say JQ and then dot, meaning just take in the entire JSON. And we notice the tags is right here. There's I as host and utility server for the utility server. And then the name of the host is up here. And then we'll notice this JSON object, um, if we look at the whole entire thing, is going to be uh, inside of a, a list. So we can use JQ some more. We can break out that list. So we'll carve out the records out of the list, and then we'll pass those records into JQ, and we will grab the name. So we're going to get dot name, and we're also going to grab the tags. Okay, so we have a Bastion host with tags Bastion host and IS host, and then we have the utility server with the tags utility server and IS host. Remember, our goal was to go from the Bastion host to the utility server. 
We could also make the rule a little bit more generic and say, let's go from the jump server to any IS host, anything that has the tag IS host. That's another nice thing about the tags is if you add or subtract more servers, as long as you tag them with the same tag, the firewall rule will automatically apply without any modifications. We have enough information. We're now ready to create our firewall rule. We're going to do G Cloud Compute, firewall rules. And create. And at this point, if you want to get a list of the fields, you can do help. That'll dump out the list of fields. We need uh, the action, which is going to be allow or deny. We're going to allow in this case. We need to have the source and destination. So we're going to do source tags because we want to say the source is Bastion host. And we're going to use target tags because we want to say that the IS servers are the target or the destination. The rules is going to be TCP 22 because we want to use SSH. We're going to turn on logging. So we're going to need to enable logging. And the direction is going to be inbound towards the utility server. So in a sense, you can think of uh, this rule being, quote, applied to the utility server. Technically speaking, firewall rules are actually applied to networks, but it does help to think about it that way to kind of keep it straight, which direction things are going. All right, given all of those facts, we can now create a rule, and I've actually got it mocked up here. G Cloud Compute Firewall Rules Create. The name we're going to give it is going to be allow ingress. And I always use the prefix of either allow or deny and then ingress or egress. That way I can quickly look at the name of the rule and know is it, well, an allow or deny rule. And then which direction is it inbound or outbound? And then the third uh, is protocol, SSH, and then the source and destination. So allow ingress, SSH, bastion host to IS host. We're going to have an action of allow rules TCP 22 direction is inbound or ingress is the keyword to use there. We would use egress if this was an outbound rule. Enable logging, source tag is bastion host, target tag is IS host, and the network we already said was Matilda VPC. So we hit enter, we let G Cloud grind through creating the rule, and then it'll create the rule. At this point, we should be able to list the rules and see the rule. So we do G Cloud Compute, Firewall Rules List, and the rules should show up. And it's right here. And having done that, let's go back over. Let's jump into the jump server from the internet. Once we get there, let's take a, a look and see if we can try to SSH into the utility server. I have to unlock the SSH key since it's armored. And we are now in the utility server. Do host name. We are in the utility server. And that completes our demo of completing using a G Cloud script to create a firewall rule. Again, in this case, in a development or testing context, if we were creating this exact same rule for a production deployment, we would use infrastructure as code like Terraform to do the exact same thing.